Hello guys, Luke here and welcome to my first 4K video on the channel. I didn't think this day would come for quite a while because as I said in a previous video, I'm not looking at doing 4K because I cannot really record at 4K 60 and I prefer 60 frames a second. It's a more of a vloggy type video so I thought why not just film it in 4K 30 and um, just to you know, see how you guys like 4K footage. But today's video is actually not about the Sony AX53. It is about the Sony RX100 Mark III camera that I have right here and how we're going to get this to shoot in wide angle, just the same as this AX53 shot is right now. It's it's so wide. So if you guys aren't aware, the Sony RX100, um, pretty much any model, Mark I to Mark V, they all have quite a narrow uh, shot, a narrow picture. Um, it's not a wide 16 by 9 aspect ratio that they shoot in. They shoot in more of a 4 by 3 um, so to get wide angle on this camera, there's really only one way you can get it. Today I've got two items that I purchased online, on both of them on eBay. Um, you'll need both these items to get wide angle on the RX100. So first of all, we have the Vivitar Professional Wide Angle Lens. And this will enable you to get the wide angle shot that you're looking for. It uses a 58 millimeter uh, thread uh, to attach to a camera. So it can actually be used on many cameras, not just the RX100. But that is where the second item for this video comes in, guys, which is the Sony Cybershot VFA 49R1 lens adapter. And this is more so to put filters on your camera, but you can also use it to attach lenses. So this adapter will enable your RX100 to go from the 49 millimeter default lens to a 58 millimeter adapter. So we can attach the other Vivitar Professional wide angle lens to this adapter and to the RX100 so that we can get a wide angle shot. Now, the funny thing is about these adapters, I haven't found a video online really showing how to actually attach these adapters to the RX100. So I haven't been able to research myself how to actually attach it to the camera. There are instructions with both products, of course, but they're not really too clear. Uh, it, they do show pictures of how to do it, but it's not clear exactly how uh, it goes on properly. Like I, I would rather get a video uh, to show me how to do it, but I guess this will be that video. So if you guys also want to get uh, one angle shots on your RX100, whether it's Mark 1 or Mark 5, this should work on all models. The actual packaging here for this adapter, it actually says in the top corner, RX100 Mark 1 and Mark 2 and I had to ask the seller oh will this work on a Mark 3 and they said oh it, it should because like you guys might know already if you have an RX100 series camera that they all pretty much are the same body with very little differences from model to model so without further ado guys let's go ahead and attach the lens and lens adapter to the RX100 Mark 3. So now guys, we have our end result, which is the RX100 Mark III with the uh, Vivitar wide angle lens on top of the Sony lens adapter. And it is quite a bulky camera now because of this lens. It is a little heavy on the heavy side. It's all metal construction. Uh, both the adapter and the actual lens are all metal. Probably doubled in weight from the original camera, but I mean, now you can get wide angle shots out of your RX100. One little drawback I've found when filming wide angle with this camera now is that you have to zoom in just a tiny bit with your actual zoom on the camera because uh, when it's fully zoomed out, it'll be look like you're looking down a tunnel a little bit. The, the corner, the all four corners of the video have um, little black bits in them. And um, I'll put up an example now showing you what it's like. But what I'll do now is um, I'll switch from my Sony AX53 camcorder to the RX100 
and I'll do a test both with and without the wide angle lens to show you how, how much of an impact uh, the lens and adapter are making. Okay, so now you are viewing me through the RX100. Uh, this is without the lens adapter uh, fitted to the camera right now. So this is the default. Uh, if you've seen some of my videos before, this is the sort of camera view that you're used to seeing. Uh, but now we're gonna switch over to having the lens attached and see how much it changes. And this is now the RX100 with the wide angle lens attached. And you can tell it is just ever so slightly wider angle. <laughs> Um, not as uh, extreme as I thought it was going to be, like the difference between not having it and having it. It's interesting how the lenses and lens adapter fit to an RX100 that doesn't support it. It actually uses a little bit of an adhesive strip uh, around the, the lens cap first and then you attach the lens to it. But you can definitely tell it's a little bit wider. You can see the, the white pole there behind me is now it appears to be bent uh, before. If you look in the previous clip, it was straight. And now we have switched back to the Sony AX53 camcorder, which as you can see is wide angle as well. Uh, pretty much without the fisheye though, it, it shoots in a natural 16 by nine aspect ratio, which I actually love to shoot video on. But anyway, guys, I hope that you did enjoy this video. If you did, leave a like down below, subscribe for more content like this, and I will see you guys around the channel. All right, have a good one.